A couple of announcements to get underway. Let's welcome our Norsemen, the visitors. First, let's get some announcements underway first. first Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Galesville, Ken Manning, Western Wisconsin Video Productions, as we're set to bring you a Cooley Conference tilt, and this one is going to be a good one tonight as the Westby Norsemen travel here to GET. We thank you very much for... Westby coming in at, I believe it was 5-2, and two, if I remember right, and it's going to be a tough road to hold tonight, even though with the seat, the uh, GET uh, Red Hawks, I might have said Redmond, that's the old school to me, but uh, the Red Hawks, just in case I did mess that up, the Red Hawks coming in at three and four overall. They are three and two in the conference. And uh, both of these teams looking for a win tonight, and that will solidify them in the, in the uh, playoffs here coming up in a couple of weeks. Otherwise, the team that comes in second place tonight, they will be in a must-win situation next week. Next week, uh, GET will travel to Arcadia. Meanwhile, Westby will host Altoona. We'll see how all that kind of plays out here in just a little bit. Of course, you know, it all comes down to who's going to execute tonight here at GT. A beautiful football field, the, the, the turf, and uh, both these teams, you don't have to worry about the weather other than it might be a little chilly, and that's the first time this year that either team is going to be playing in uh, some, well, around 30 eight degree weather maybe even a little lower than that by the end of the game we're going to take a real quick break and come back glad to have everyone on board hope you enjoy tonight's broadcast
Back we come, and here is the approach, and the kick is going to be a ground ball picked up here eventually, hopefully, by Maori, and he is going to get stopped at about the 25-yard line. Well, I tell you what, that ball skipped the ground, and Maori had to play a little hot potato with it and finally was able to recover it. Looking in on the tackle here, it was uh, number 86 and Shane Cochran. Plus he starts play first and it's first and 10 on the 25. First and 10, Norseman. Well, glad to have everyone on board. Thanks going out to many of our fine sponsors that we're going to be talking about throughout this evening. And the first one was Vernon Manor Healthcare. Thanks to Amanda Huff and all that great crew on the north side of Oroqua. Opening handoff, and oh boy, a big stop right away here on the tackle. Nate uh, Schneider coming in, or Schindler, excuse me, Schindler. Vatlin on the carry, and boy, tell you what, second and 10. That was uh, like he had been in the huddle, knew what that play was. As I mentioned earlier, just uh, prior to the kickoff, of course, these two teams vying for and very much alive for playoff spots. So, and also you're going to wind up uh, number three in the Cooley Conference if you can win out. There's a handoff right up the middle. That one, Stockstone, they said, was the carry? Okay. I didn't. I lost that one. I see him in there now. <laughs> He's a little smaller than some of those guys. I think they might have missed him over there. So third and eight. Dropping back. Malutinovich looking downfield. He's going to throw. He's got a man. It's tipped. And on the ground. Boy, that was nearly intercepted. Nearly intercepted. Couple of good plays over here. And uh, nearly coming up with that. The final chance was number 29. Brady Sealing, who is in there. But, uh, yeah, it was uh, there was somebody just ahead of him that got his hand on the ball. And it's going to force a punt here now by the Norseman. We're going to pan back just a touch. They have one man in motion. Pretty good snap, and the kick is going to be a sailing kick coming down. It's going to hit and take a Westby bounce. Look at that. All the way down inside the 30, right around the 30-yard line. That's a great kick for the Norseman. We'll take a break here as we say thanks to Vernon Electric Touchstone Energy. Cooperative, located at 110 Sogstead Road. Well, back we come, and it's going to be a, a penalty was also tacked on right at the end. A penalty flag over here on about the 30, oh, around the 35-yard line. So a holding call pushes the ball back. And we are going to be under competition the whole night with our PA guy, but he does a pretty good job, so maybe we can listen in once in a while. Here's the opening play and stopped and pushed back. That was ceiling with the run as he is slammed back Brady onto the, on the carpet. The He's going to pick up a yard and a half, Brady maybe two, and it'll be a long second and eight. Second, second and nine, second nine on the board, and they'll come back up to the line of scrimmage. Quarterback here in uh, Cody Schmitz. He's a pretty good one. There's a little pitch to the outside and a great play defensively. Somebody got over there. That might have been for the Norseman. Brett Kroom. What a job there. He sliced through, and as the back was grabbing the ball, he was also being grabbed by Kroom. That's the way to do it. It's going to bring up a third and long here. Third and 19. Schmitz rolling over here to the near side. Going to keep it himself, and he's going to get tied up right away. Not a whole lot happening there, and the Norsemen are going to hold. 
Chase Bendel on the tackle for Westby. Gain of a couple and makes it. They're saying Bendel in on the tackle. I think Chase was out uh, last week and they're just coming back here. And that's a big plus for the Norsemen as they have three other players that are out for various injuries. And you just hope to get everybody healthy for that last game. Looking to throw, and they do. They have a man wide open, and he's going to be stopped. What a job defensively. Trying to do a little trickery here, and that's going to backfire. Westby is going to have a first and 10 in excellent field position. First and 10, Norseman, ball placed at the 20. Well, a huge play defensively there as GT rolling the dice, tried to go for it on a fourth and I mean long, long, fourth and 19, well, probably fourth and 15, deep in their own territory. And now Westby sitting in great position here. Milutinovic rolling, looking. Now he'll fire and it's incomplete. It's incomplete. Pressured by senior number two, Nate Schindler. Schindler in on the uh, pressure here, as you probably heard. Second and 10. Our thanks to VMH, Vernon Memorial Healthcare. So much care, so close. And again, for 16 straight years, doing a fantastic job with Medicare and Medicaid healthcare situations. We hope you're enjoying tonight's broadcast. If you're watching down at the VFW on the south side of Verroca with their fantastic fish fry. Here's Vatlin, and he's going to get stopped. And uh, boy, just a short gain, maybe a yard. Schindler once again. I, I think we're going to be calling Schindler's name a lot tonight from the looks of things. He has been involved already. My thanks also here. Chris Anderson to my left helping out. He's uh, my spotter tonight. Appreciate that help. Sometimes in that mass of uh, humanity, it's kind of tough. Here is Valen. Oh, a nice little move. He's going to go in. He's in for the score. He made one little move, and that opened up a fantastic alley for him to scoot down. That's uh, about a 20, well, about a 19-yard run here, and the Norsemen are on the board first. Huge run. And now they'll look for the extra point kick. We'll pan back, see if we can pick up that we got the speaker right in front of us that's no good, point is no good. kick is off to the left might have been blocked and well let's take a look here as you can see 801 remaining here quarter number one and the Norseman out in front six to nothing we'll take a little break and come right back Here's the approach as we come back, and this kick is heading for the out of bounds, and it does just get out of bounds. And that means that GT will have pretty good field position here. They take over on their second possession. Again, thanks to many of our sponsors, the Viroqua Booster Club. Well, best of luck to the Blackhawks. They're taking on the uh, Aquinas Blue Golds tonight in their homecoming game. And the Booster Club will be there to support them all the way. The Viroqua Dental Center as well experience the gentler side of dentistry. Our thanks going out to Vasatag Funeral Home. We'll talk about them in just a moment. Here's the running play coming out here to the near side. And Valen just stopped 
the runner in uh, Stoner. Well, I tell you what, dead cold, that's for sure. Right back to the line of scrimmage, it's gonna bring up a second and 10. No gain on the play. Double wing set, their normal situation. Schmitz rolls out to the far side. He's got a man and it's caught. Number 17 and he has got a good run. That is uh, Rappel. Boy, Repo really got behind his defender and making the touchdown saving tackle was Bergdahl. Boy, what a play right there. Schmitz showing a cool hand for sure. And they'll start the clock back up. High formation, Schmitz rolling out here to the near side. Stiff arm and is pushed out of bounds. Down to about the 25 yard line. Ellison helping out on the tackle there, getting them out of bounds. That was a good play by Ellison as the Norseman tried to string that play out. That was not an easy one to say the least. Second and eight, run here on the near side. Uh-oh, we gotta be careful. That was up around the shoulders. Vatlin in on the tackle. That uh, was uh, number four, I think, wasn't it? In uh, Peterson. On the tackle. No gain, third and eight. So Vatlin, they said Bendel, but that was Vatlin all the way. Peterson with the run back to the wing and Schmitz looking downfield he's got a man all alone and he overshot him whoa that was close that was uh, number 14 in Sorensen he snuck out of that uh, line of scrimmage and was the lone duck out there and somehow Schmitz just overshot him well, they got to watch that play coming back again. Now it's a fourth down situation. Boy, this is a big stop right here for the Norsemen. And a big bullet, more like a cannon misfire there. Now a timeout here is Schmitz. Maybe they're trying to draw him off sides, but to no avail. And a decision time coming here. Will they look for a long field goal or again? Well, they're not going to punt, so it's either going to be a field goal or a fourth and eight when we come right back. Well, it's going to be not Dominic not will look for a very, very long field goal attempt that is up and it's going to go off to the right quite a ways. Tell you what, his leg is not that bad, but uh, he was short and also off to the right by about 10 yards. So it's going to bring up a First and 10 here, Westby with the hold. Yeah, pan out just, <laughs> okay, I got it, Joe. <laughs> and yes, I do have the mic on. <laughs> I wanted you to know I saw it. <laughs> all right, here we go. Again, thanks to all those uh, sponsors. <laughs> 
<laughs> Joel's uh, sending me a text laughing, so. All right, here we are. There's going to be a big tackle right there. Number 10 finally helping out by Lakey. Lakey or Lackey, I'm not sure how they want to say that one. But also number 10 kind of put the finishing Senior touch in. Owen oh, uh, Eddie. Lakey, okay. Malunovic with the run. He picked up a couple of yards. And it's second and eight. Shotgun formation here for Milutinovic and the Norseman. A quick shot to the far side and uh, making a big step and diving forward. Let's take a look here. Schmidt's in on the tackle. That one with the catch and run. And he'll pick up three on that short pass and make it third and five. Well, thanks to the Lost to Take Funeral Home, as I mentioned, that's uh, Gina Sherry out there, along with Justin. We appreciate their support, serving Vernon County since 1970. And our thanks to the West Peak Co-op Creamery, organic and conventional dairy products right there in the heart of West Peak. Here's a shotgun again. Oh, a lot of pressure. Got a shot, and they missed him. Tried to hit uh, number three and Brett Kroom coming over the middle. And he had number six all over him in Kyle Sealing, younger brother of Brady. That's quite a combination there for those two. Well, the Norseman will drop back here to punt. And dropping back for GET. I'm trying to check the number there, if that's three or who it is. Oh, that kick is off the foot. And uh, it's not even going to get to Stoner. That one goes out of bounds. And boy, talk about great field position coming right back. That's the Red Red Hawks. They're going to have the ball right around the 30. Ball is spotted on the 29-yard line. And the Red Hawks knocking on the door here to try and come up with a score. This is going to be number two on the carry. He's got a nice bit of yardage in Schindler once again. Right in the middle of the pile here, that left uh, or uh, the left side coming up with the tackle. Good job by that linebacking crew. That might have been number 12 over there helping out in Malutinovic. I know he stuck his shoulder pads in there and he had a host of buddies helping him out. Schmitz will come up under center with the wing tee. He has a man in motion. And they're going to give it once again here. Then, oh, slipping down. We got a late flag over on the far Schindler side as Schindler the slipped on the play. That was Bendel making the stop. And the hold here will send them back from the point of the infraction. You know, and that's the weird one because that was on the far side of the field. Well, not even close to the play. And uh, somebody might be getting a talking to. Our thanks to the West Peak Co-op Credit Union helping out tonight with the broadcast. As always, thanks to Kevin Hauser and all that great bunches. They have now nine facilities in the uh, surrounding area, western, southwestern Wisconsin, and now more in central Wisconsin with the new one in Portage. Well, a second and 17 here for the Red Hawks. And Schmitz, the quarterback. Cody brings him up to line. He's got a man in motion. That's ceiling. Ball on the floor. And the Norsemen say they have it. And the officials agree. Westby coming up with the fumble recovery is Friedland. And I tell you what, what a job there. Somebody rocked him. And it's first and 10 going the other way.
Well, the first, uh, I'll, I'll say a second turnover because a turnover on downs earlier. This is the second turnover on a fumble recovery here. Malunovic tries to rearrange the players. Now puts his man in motion, dropping back, rolling here to the near side. Here's the throw downfield. It's going to be incomplete. Looking to hit his uh, back was that was Casey Wilbur trying to streak down the sideline here. As it turned out, Malutinovich was throwing the ball behind him. He also, a little confusion there as he got Anders Stockston split out here to the near side. That's where Anders is coming once again. And then he put him in motion. Up under center is Malutinovich. Pitch to Vatlin. Puts his shoulders down and drives forward into the fray and comes up with a couple of yards. Three tough ones, it says on the board. It's third and seven. In on the tackle was Will Mac, Nash, one of the seniors the here for the Red Hawks. Well, the clock continues to move. We're at 320 and counting here in the first quarter of an action. A pretty good quarter here where the Norsemen are leading by a score of six to nothing. Their third possession of the quarter. Sometimes you're lucky to get two possessions. Norsemen on number three. Man in motion, fake the handoff. Now the toss right up the middle. It's an inside screen. And oh, good job here. It's going to be awfully close to the first down here as Brett Kroom came up with the catch. Yes, now it's just a matter of where do they place the ball. One official says a first down. The other one says, no, we're going to measure this one. We'll take a little time out here and see what the spot looks like. Well, the the side judge here with our with the back to us, he had signaled a first down, but the uh, the main guy <laughs> said, oh, we're gonna we're gonna bring out the stakes here and take a look." <laughs> so just short here, and a fourth down situation. Well, let's see the Norseman gonna try and punch this one across. See if they go with the quarterback keeper or hand off to Vatlin and have him muscle through. Oh, it's going to be Malunovic. He's got the first down. Nice play there. Followed his center. Nice uh, push there. The uh, tackle, the stop made by uh, Brant Robson. Taking a look here, uh, Ty is, uh, I think is Ty Nottestead the center? I'm trying to remember here. Oh, Hagen is, Grayson. Grayson is the center. He had a nice push there, and uh, Malunovic was able to follow him. Now Malunovic will put a man in motion. Handoff is going to come here to the near side. That was Vatlin, and he has had this play strung out. That's a good job by the Red Hawks. Just no place for Vatlin to try and cut back through. And Brady Sealing comes up with the stop. Ben Peterson, senior on the tackle. They're saying Peterson also in there on the help. Our thanks going out to American Family Insurance, the Miranda Wright Agency, located both in Westby and Viroqua, helping out the surrounding communities. Agent and Disability Resource Center of Vernon County, located in Viroqua. We appreciate their terrific support. Here's a handoff, a quick hitter right up the middle, a little trap play, and I tell you what, that's close to a first down. On the carry, that was number Wilbur one Wilbur. in Wilbur. Boy, he had quick explosion there too as he hit the line, the tackle by Peterson. And they're gonna be just about uh, a half a yard short here as it's third, technically third and one. On the board here, let's see if they can push this one through. Again, Malutinovich up under center with Grayson Hagen. He'll turn the handoff, Valen, oh, a quick blitz, and they pushed him back. 
He did not get back to the line of scrimmage. And credit's got to go to uh, Thomas Haney, who really shot, shot the gap there and came away with a good stop. So fourth down, in fact, a loss of about two on the play when you stop and look at it here. It's a fourth and two, almost fourth and three. Clock continuing to run down to 12 seconds now. Ludovic rolls out here to the near side. Look, he's got a man wide open and it's a catch. Nice job in there by Kroom who was wide open and a good strike as Brady Sealing comes in to make the stop. Boy, what a job there by Milutinovich to find Brett Kroom, who ran a very nice route here. And that is going to be the end of quarter number one. The Norsemen out in front, six to nothing. We'll take a little break. Well, back we come here, quarter number two, uh, ready to start, and the clock moving. There's a throw downfield, going deep, and it's gonna be out of bounds. Looking for his man in Anders Stockston, and not able to come up with that one, sealing in on the coverage here, slowing things down, and that ball was thrown out of bounds, as, uh, again, I think Milutinovich noticed that sealing was step for step with Stockstone. So second down and 10 as Westby back up to the line of scrimmage quickly here. Second man through, and that should have been uh, Valen, I believe, and it's going to be Schindler coming in on the stop. I tell you what, Schindler is playing like an all-conference linebacker right now. He is all over the place. Thanks to the Bank of Cash and Scott Wall and that great crew, well, it's a new building and of course the same great people and the same great service right there on Front Street in downtown Cashton. Milutinovic dropping back, looking under some pressure. Now he's gonna fire. He's got a man off the fingertips here. A very good try. He tried to hit number 13 in Jacob Larson and it was a Hilton in on the coverage Four here. Down. He got to him just in the nick of time and uh, that was well timed here by Hilton. Now a fourth down scenario as coming in with the play is Quinn Bergdahl from the sidelines. Bergdahl will split out here to the near side. Stockstone along with Kroom on the far side. Looking. Under a little pressure, rolling to the right-hand side. Now stopping, firing. He sees a man, and it's going to be incomplete. Over there on the coverage, he is trying to get to Kroom, and it was, it's going to be a hold on a flag as well, but 
That was fourth down. They'll let that one go. Again, ceiling in on the coverage. He had Kroom screened off. Well, turnover here on downs. We'll take a little break. GT Redhawks coming up with a nice defensive play, and they have great field position on their 28 yard line. Jumping up over the top, and that'll be a gain of a couple of yards here. Schindler, senior on the carry. Schindler, who's been Mr. Everything defensively, picks up a couple of tough yards. He tried to scale that interior line and wound up in the grasp of some of the linebackers. Wilbur, one of them. And Friedland on the tackle. Or sorry, Friedland on the tackle. Well, our thanks to Brigham Oil. Brian and Jody Brigham out there in Cashton helping us out tonight. All your heating and other fuel needs. Here comes Schmitz with the carry. And a good job trying to wrap him up here. First uh, one on the hit, number eight, uh, or check that. Who's number eight? Uh, or maybe it was uh, Bergdahl. Probably it was Bergdahl uh, that we saw here. I saw that six, and it looked like an eight. He was moving so fast. <laughs> so it's a third and five now as the Norseman looked like that was going to be a big run there for Schmitz, and they really did a nice job of collapsing that hole. Staying their ground. Six nothing your score here in the early part of quarter number two. Schmitz will bring the squad up to the line of scrimmage in that wing T turn. And he's got a man wide open and overshot him again. Kroom in on the coverage. And Sorensen, that is the second time that Sorensen has been uh, pretty much wide open. Kroom was there. I mean, he, he would have probably not gone too far. But that uh, that's a tough coverage there. Fourth down and deep in your own territory, they look to kick. Now we're going to get a timeout here by Westby. They're going to talk things over and make sure they got their assignments set in case of another fake attempt. We'll take a moment break and come right back. All right, here we go, and it is, is going to be a kick here. A pretty good kick coming down. Fair catch called and made by Stockstone. And the Norsemen in good field position here as they spot the ball on about the 39-yard line. And Westby with that lead in the 930 mark. We'll see what they can do here in quarter number two. Well, thanks going out to Cade Clearing when it comes to clearing, clearing out old trees, tree stumps, you name it. Contact Brett or Riley Cade. They do a fantastic job. I've had some people actually tell me, yeah, they are they're a good crew, very safe, and they are fully insured. Here is uh, Vatlin with the carry. And he's gonna get across the 40, maybe to the 41. The carry, Matt. By number two, Nate Schindler. <laughs> Schindler again as uh, he comes up big one more time. It's going to bring up a second and nine. Well, he only picked up a yard here. He did cross the 40. 
Bergdahl split out here to the near side. I formation with Malunovic. Dropping back, quick shot over to the far side here. That should be Kroom. He got free. That Anders, Anders Stockstone got free. And that is a big play over there on the tackle. Schindler once again. Why, I tell you what, a quick hitter, and that was a big time strike by Malutinovic. And Stockstone, a quick little stutter step, helped him break free for the big first down. A gain there of uh, about 20. We'll make it about 18 yards on the final spot. I formation again, the quick handoff on the inside. Nothing happening there with Wilbur. And that was 33 <laughs> coming in in Haney Wilbur with a big the time the stop there. By number 33, Wil Wilbur Haney. could never get anything Get's going one, on that one. <laughs> Well, I need to give a shout out to my daughter, Jill. Happy birthday today. Shot her a text this morning, called her a little later. And now just gonna mention, not gonna say how old because it would age me too. <laughs> and dads just don't do that, right, Jill? Well, a short run here, tripped up. Caleb Lakey. Lakey in on the stop here. It's going to be third and eight now for the Norsemen. Malunovic eyes things, turns, pitches. It's going to be Valen ahead of steam, and he's going to get across the, uh, well, we got a late flag coming in. It's going to be Schindler once again. Vatlin picked up a couple. <laughs> My Jill just texted and said, said, yeah, well, we know how old you are, so. <laughs> it's going to go against the Norsemen, and that's a tough break right there. They're going to walk this one back, and it's on the 49 of the Red Hawks. Westby had put together a little bit of a drive here, but every once in a while, and any coach will tell you, those penalties are shooting yourself in the foot. That's what probably happened here. We'll see, though. Blodinovich in that shotgun. Oh, he's got a man coming after him. He breaks to the right, stops, throws, and this is going to be intercepted. No, it's dropped. Oh, I tell you what, that had interception wrote all over it and a big return as there is a lot of green over here on this side. Now we got a flag here on about the 40 yard line. What, what is this all about? Somebody's clapping for GT, which means it's against Westby. Illegal man down the illegal field. man downfield. Wow, that's a interesting call. And so now they're gonna talk this one over and drop it back. They're gonna go ahead and punt this one away. Well, a tough one right there. Thanks going out to Carmen Fortune, your local New Directions real estate expert. And uh, Carmen reminds you to uh, give her a call. Bendel, the kicker here. Give her a call if you're interested. Uh, boy, I tell you what, this Northern Wisconsin Tobacco Building, that's a great spot for some renovation. There is a block. Kroom picks up the... Uh, block and is tackled and that's going to do it right there. Blocked by number 29, Brady Sealing coming up with the big block. Well, you got a two-man wrecking crew right now here for the Red Hawks with Brady Sealing and Nate Schindler. Those two guys are really putting it out there on the line as they say. First and 10 here for the Red Hawks. They'll come up with the ball spotted here. On the uh, 40, about the 44, 
And they're going to pitch the ball to Sealing. He's not going to get too far. And now a late flag coming in again. This is going to be a hold on GET. That will push him back. So with the hold, it'll bring up a first down. And first, and uh, they're gonna say first and 21 here now for the Red Hawks. So see if they look to pass or maybe try and get a couple of running plays in here and make it a little more manageable on a third down situation. They've got that one <laughs> they gotta watch out for, of course, with uh, Sorensen, number 14, he's been open a couple of times, and Schmitz has just plain missed him. Rolling again here, there's uh, going to be Sorensen. He's got his man, and it's dropped. Schindler not able to hang on to that one. Wilbur was right there just in case. Nice job by Wilbur. Schindler on his knees, kind of motion with his hands that he should have had that one. That's that's good competitive uh, attitude to have. As a player, you feel like you should have every single play. So you like that fire. <laughs> Schmitz rolling out, firing downfield. This one is up for grabs. Oh, nearly picked off by Bergdahl. What a job there athletically. He tipped the ball, almost tipped the ball to himself, and on a spin, spun around and nearly came up with the interception. As it is, it's third and 21. And uh, Schmitz tried to rifle that one in. That was, that was gonna be a pinpoint shot if he was able to hit that receiver. They'll split three, making four out here on this side. Schindler in a little motion. Now rolling, looking, looking, now firing underneath. It's going to be caught at about the 40, uh, about the 46 yard line. Hilton with the reception. Fourth down situation here, fourth and 11 here for the Red Hawks. Again, thanks to Carmen Fortune. Reminder, Cashton Building Supply and CBS Design helping us out. Friendly customer service with your best interest in mind. Kevin Kirking and Courtney Cousy bringing you today's ball game at the 550 mark. It looks like we might have a timeout coming here as GT is going to want to talk this one over in a fourth and long. We'll take a little break and come right back as they run the clock down and then the coach says, timeout. now we'll take the timeout. Right we'll do the same. Well, the Norsemen out in front six to nothing. Now their defense has been asked to hold here as it's fourth and 11 and the Red Hawks going for it. Schindler in motion, Schmitz rolls out to the far side. Turn, looks, fires, and it is incomplete. Oh, and they wiped out the official on top of that. They're gonna call it a reception. Oh, be darned, how did that happen? Over there, Joey Ellison was there i thought he had that timed really well but they're gonna say hilton had the catch you only need a one foot in 
a fourth and 11 is converted into about a fourth. They may only well, probably picked up what about 15 on that one. Just enough anyways, it's first and 10. See where they marked that ball about on the 32 yard line. Wow, that was quite the play. I was not seeing that one. Inside handoff and trying to move the pile. They'll get a couple of yards out of this one, maybe more. Schindler with the carry. They're going to give him about four. Bring up a second and six, second and seven situation. Bringing the play in, number 17, and Repo. Well, Westby trying to get a stop here. Hand off back up the middle again, and there's a good carry. Schindler very close to a first down. That was the uh, backfield for Westby looking to make that stop. You had Kroom over there. Bergdahl as well. One thing you do not want is to have your defensive backs making the tackles. That's not a good sign. There's a dive right over the top. On the carry for the Red Hawks. Probably got the first down. We'll wait to see where they mark the ball. Oh, they're going to say he's a little bit short here. They're going to bring it up. Nope. They are going to give it to him. First and 10. So first and 10 on the 22, bringing the play in is Ben Peterson for the Red Hawks. And they'll come up to the line of scrimmage with a little more vigor, 350 on the clock. Schmitz, handoff, this is Schindler. And boy, oh boy, I tell you what, it's gonna take a few guys to bring him down. Schindler gets the ball down to the 15-yard line. Brings up a second and two. Well, thanks to Ernie Peterson and that great crew out there on Highway 27, the Cashton Farm Supply is what we're talking about when it comes to your organic farming needs, fertilizers, seed, feed, you, need, you name it, they can help you out. There is uh, Schindler once again. And he'll get inside the 10. Bergdahl in on the tackle. Well, first and goal here as GT putting together a pretty good drive. Chewing some time off the clock and looking to try and tie this ball game up. Schmitz has the uh, squad up close once again. Going to look for that inside handoff. Nate Schindler on the carry. And he gets down very close inside the five. On the tackle for down on about the three-yard line, and they're going to say Wilbur the making the initial hit. He snuck between those uh, that interior line a little bit here. Two twenty to go, and counting. Man in motion, and uh, right up the middle, and that's stuffed. That was a good play defensively. Maybe a loss of a half a yard, maybe one. So ball was back to the four yard line. So it's fourth. Or check that third and goal on the four as Peterson brings the play back in. Hands that play off to Schmitz, and they'll huddle up. Thanks to those sponsors, Chaseburg Farmers Union Co-op, John Maslevichek and his great crew out there in the Chaseburg area. They'll be very, very busy here with the harvest season. Here is Schmitz. He'll take it himself and scoots in for the tying score from four yards out. That score coming at the 134 mark.
Well, they will, uh, they're will. they going to go for the kick here once again, and that's number 12, and not who will, he's got a good leg. Snap is down, the kick is up, and it is good. 134 left here in the half, and Westby now trails 7-6. Not has the ball teed up, and they get the whistle. Here's the approach, and it's a line drive kick. It's going to come down here to the back. Defensive uh, back here in Stockstone making a couple little moves and then gets bottled up right around the 25-yard line. Well, we'll see if they mark it around the 26 here. Well, Westby. With a minute 26 to go here in the half. Well, we'll see if they can put a little drive together here and get within striking distance. It's been a dandy football game here so far. The defense, both defenses playing well. Westby will split two men out. It's going to be Vatlin in the slot over here. Bonovich looking, looking. Now firing downfield. This one could be up for grabs. Oh, it's, it is picked off and brought down. It's ceiling once again, I believe. Jacob Larson making the tackle. Otherwise, ceiling might still be running. Turnover here going down deep. And Sealing plays center field. Well, the Red Hawks with a little more firepower right now after the big interception. They got plenty of time here with 116 in the half. A pitch back, a little flea flicker, and there's a nice job by Wilbur on the tackle. Schmitz, no place to go. I think he might have got back to the line of scrimmage just in time. And now a timeout coming here by GT, second one in the half. We'll do a little break ourselves. Oh, they said it was the third one. Well, the 
home half of the field really fired up. Schmitz dropping back. He's under some pressure. He lofts it up. It's tipped and nearly intercepted off the fingertips of Milutinovic. Trying to look for Peterson out there. Also, Sorensen was a little deeper. But it's third and 10 now with 57 seconds remaining in the half. Thanks again, Coon Valley Telecommunications. Hope you're enjoying tonight's broadcast on their Channel 7. Thanks going out to uh, Nathan King and the West Bay Area School District getting things set up here, bringing it back to Channel 7, as well as you're watching on the school district's YouTube channel and on WWVP LLC Twitch channel. Sealing running to the far side. He's going to be brought down quickly. Over there, and a good job by Joey Ellison making the stop, and that should bring up a kicking scenario here for GT. Westby will call their timeout. We'll take a break here with 43 seconds remaining. Westby looking to try and play a little field position, maybe. Red Hawks dropping back in punt formation. Vatlin and Stockstone back deep. Here's a kick coming down towards Stockstone's side, and they're going to let it go, and it's going to take a bounce all the way down to about the 11-yard line, and that's where they're going to mark it. Clock running down to 30 seconds on the clock. Westby with 30 seconds remaining here in the half. Will come up to the line of scrimmage. Milunovic turns, hands off, and getting a couple of yards on that one. Valen on the carry. <laughs> Valen picks up about two in there on the tackle. I was going to say Schindler in there. Got some help with... Uh, teammate in Robinson. Robinson clock will run out the Norseman will let the clock go and that's going to be your half 7-6 score as we will shut down the audio while at halftime here we'll be back in a little bit second half action around the corner 7-6 GT.
Welcome back to second half action as the Norseman to kick off. Here's the approach, and it's an end over end kick. Lands at about the 25 yard line, and it's going to be sealing with the carry. Uh oh, look out here. He's got some room. Gets to the outside. Coming over here near side, Norseman giving good chase. Let's see if they can cut him off. One man to beat inside. It's a touchdown. A 75-yarder, Kyle Sealing, runs it back in the opening kickoff here in the second half. Norsemen have three guys down here from about the 25, 20-yard 20 line, and he dodged in between them and cut back for the final man and scoots in an electrifying run here for the Red Hawks. And now they'll look for the extra point kick with Knott. Dominic Knott, the approach to kick is up, and it is good. 14-6, just like that in a heartbeat. The Red Hawks out in front. The Norseman set to receive the kickoff here after a shocking run for the Norseman going against them with Sealing. And that was the younger one too. He's uh, a sophomore. Watch out for him for the next couple of years. A booming kick picked up at about the two yard line. Stockstone running to the far side, still on his feet. And he's gonna get a nice little run back here Flag on the play. We got a late flag coming in. Good run uh, on that return, but now we got to wait and see what the call is all about. Uh, it looks like it's going to go against the Norseman. An illegal block in the back. Block in the back called against Westby. That'll push him back. And I would imagine they'll step that off from the point of the infraction. And the ball is going to be spotted at the 19 yard line for the Norsemen. Now, uh, Westby will start first and 10 at their own 19 yard line. So, a long ways to go here. Try and pick up a score. Here's the handoff and a good little run. Quick hitter up the uh, tackle side. Valen with it, and guess who? Robinson on the tackle. Schindler and Eight Robinson in on the stop. Well, our thanks as we pick up on all of our sponsors. We want to say thanks to them. And, of course, to remind you of Culver's on the north side of Oroqua, bringing you today's action stop in there for a great-tasting butter burger. Of course, a flavor of the day each and every day. High snap, this is trouble. Back to Malunovic, he's gonna fall on it. And uh, he just, that's exactly what he had to do. He got a good bounce, but couldn't hang on to it. And when it hit the ground, so did he. And now the Norsemen are in, going the wrong direction here, as they're gonna be spotted just inside the five. 
And it's third and 25 here for Westby as GT comes out rocking here in the second half. Clock moving at 10.24. And as you can see, it continues to move down. Milutinovich will go into that shotgun formation. Gets a good snap here. Looks to the far sideline, has his man. That was Stockstone, and he got drilled. He made the catch and was stopped as soon as he touched the ball. Ceiling again. That was Brady this time. Westby will have to kick the ball away. Ball spotted on the 18. Here's a kick, it's a line drive, very low kick coming down. Picking up at about the 49 and a spin. I don't know if we got a flag in there or not. I thought we did. They'll get the ball back. And uh, was that ceiling with the return? Oh, Hanson, okay. No, oh, they're gonna talk things ben over Hansen's and mom, please come to the field. Ben Hansen's mom, please come to the field. Bring your son's inhaler, please. Your inhaler his inhaler. Ball's gonna be spotted here on the thirty six yard line. They'll put it on the thirty six. Schmitz under center here has a man in motion to hand off up the middle and trying to get to the outside is Schindler and he's going to be wrestled down at about the 26 yard line. Wilbur in on the stop and let's see where they actually do place the ball. 20 I might have said the, well, they're going to bring him back a little bit about the 27 here so a second and one he must have rolled a little bit there because <laughs> it was pretty close <clears throat> so second and one here Schmitz and the Red Hawks in control of this ball game right now and if they punch this one in they will really be in control both defenses have been playing very tough and there's a big first down carry Nate Schindler, Schindler dragging a number of players. One of them was Wilbur. The other one was Bo Milutinovich. Milutinovich. Wilbur on the hit, tackle. Hit, the, hit the nine minute mark here now. First down, GT. Ball placed at the 18 yard line. Well, thanks going out to Main Street Designs, Leah Kroom. Helping us out here, cheering on the Norseman. Schindler, not going to get much on that one. And a nice stop Schindler in here as uh, Lucas Bendel. Boy, he came in from uh, that linebacker spot there. And now he comes up Michael limping Bob a little bit here. Might have turned the ankle Wilbur. on that tackle. And number 54, Lucas Bender, Bendel. No gain, second and 10. Oh, second second and 10, maybe a loss of a half a yard, so second and 11 here. Thanks to the Daily Brew bringing you today's action. Little spin move and trying to bounce to the outside, ceiling, no, nothing on that one. Brady ceiling on the carry. Bendel again helping out. Also Bendel look like Milutinovich. Wilbur. They had that one picked up pretty well. So again, thanks to Main Street Designs, Leah Kroom, when it comes to haircuts, highlights, much more right there on Main Street and the Daily Brew on the north side of Westby. Great tasting coffee, breakfast sandwiches, wraps. Nice place to hang out. Schmitz dropping back, looking under some pressure. He got away from a man. Now another one, and now he goes down. Hagen comes up with the stop. Grayson with a nice job there. Boy, he just uh, stayed with him. Wasn't going to be denied on that one. 
pretty good work as the clock will move under seven minutes here in quarter number three. And it's gonna be a fourth and long here, about 16, 17 yards. We might see a timeout coming here as Peterson is on the sideline with the coach. Is he gonna bring the play in? I think they're gonna just count it down and take the timeout. They're in control. Not only the game and the clock as well as 6.30 left in quarter number three. We'll take a little break and come right back. The timeout coming up here by GET. GT looking to go for it here. They'll bring a man in motion. Now a whistle blows. And we're going to get another timeout. And this one will be for the Norsemen as they want to talk things over. Just prior to the snap, Coach Andy Hulse got the timeout in. All right, the timeout here by the Norsemen. Everybody's back on the field, ready to go. Schindler in motion. Smiths rolls. Now fires downfield, going for Sorensen, and it is incomplete. Or was Sorensen again? He is a main target going down the field, but this was excellent coverage that time. Trying to see if that was uh, Kroom over there or who that was. It was uh, Malutnovich, all right. And so Westby will take over first and 10 coming to our left. Lutnovich with the defensive stop now comes up with the quarterback spot, turns hands off. It's gonna be a run on that between the right uh, guard and tackle. That one on, uh, Robinson in on the stop here. Couple of yards on the pickup brings up a second and eight here. Again, thanks to all those terrific sponsors. Lori Holty, one of them down there in Coon Valley is the Eagle Title Company. Supporting folks in Monroe, Vernon, and there's a spot, Monroe Counties, La Crosse, Monroe, and Vernon Counties. Thanks to Lori Holty and Tidal, Wilbur, uh, Eagle Tidal Company. Sealing in, uh, in on the stop. Seven makes it third, and one. third and one here. Norsemen really need to put a drive together. You know they're going to be pushing hard here in the line to try and get that initial 
set up. Oh boy, speaking of uh, initial stop, that was Schindler again. He blitzed in and picked up the right call. I don't know if he guessed right or had an inclination, but he made that one look pretty easy. Now we're going to get a timeout here as the uh, Red Hawks, not quite sure what they want to do with their coverage here. And it's the second timeout in the half. Norseman in a spot here at fourth and two and deep in their own territory. They look to go for it. And then Westby moves. Well, a tough break right there. Moving just a little bit too quick here on this uh, near sideline. It looked like it might have been uh, Lucas over there. So that means the Norseman will kick the ball away. They'll put a man in motion, and another man moved at, on the far end. That was uh, number 70 Procedure again. in uh, Ty Nottestead. He moved his right arm when he was down in the set position. So now with Bendel and Nottestead, two penalties in a row, and that moves back 10 more yards, and even better field position upcoming here potentially for the Red Hawks and they lead 14-6. Tough break, good snap. Here's the kick, end over in. That's gonna come down and land. It actually touched one of the Red Hawks and Westby I think has it. Friedland, I think it's Gabe that was able to sneak in there and oh, now they're gonna say that the GT Red Hawks did get it. That was Whatever they did, that had to be an outstanding play. It might have been Ben Hilton coming up with it. So first and 10 for GET. They catch a big break. Well, the Red Hawks picked up a big play almost defensively. Here's Schmitz. He'll spin, and he'll pick up a couple of yards here. Baludinovic in on the tackle. Boy, he rolled him, and he got, he got something right in the middle of his back. He gets up limping a little bit. That might have been a, a shoe, one of his teammates maybe. Pretty good runs. Give them a six yard pickup. It's second and four. Still in the third quarter, but only four minutes remain. Spin move. It's going to be Schmitz. He might have enough for the first down. Bergdahl in on the stop. Not a stead over there. So the ball is spotted on the 33. It's first and 10 here, and the clock running now. It's definitely going to be in another score. will go against the Norsemen here time-wise. Thanks going out to those sponsors, Embroidery and more. That's Greg Danes and crew out there at 210D Swigham Road. Here's a carry. See if this... 
ceiling this time around. And uh, they kind of ran, ran over Wilbur. He just stuck his shoulder pads in there and came up with the stop. He had two guys on him. That was a nice play. A tough play there for Wilbur. Yeah, thanks to uh, Greg Danes and the crew. We got some uh, new shirts, business shirts. Looking forward to that. Appreciate their help. Here is a handoff. This is Schindler and... Well, a little stumble there. Otherwise, he was looking to get ahead of steam up. Bergdahl was there with a touch tackle, I guess you could call it. Mark Evinger at Evinger's Equipment Sales and Service on the north side of Oroqua helping us out. It's 800 North Main. Well, I'm sure you could stop in there and take a look at a number of deals that you'll find at Evinger's Equipment. We'll take a timeout here. Westby, they want a timeout to talk things over. We'll do the same. Both teams have used a timeout. Now an official's timeout is they're going to check on something here. Might be, oh, they're going to just get the uh, trainer to come over on the Norseman side. Need to apparently check somebody out, make sure they're okay. So they'll get that set, and now the officials say we're ready. Both teams using uh, two timeouts already here. Still in the third quarter. This is going to be Schindler off on this uh, right side. And I tell you what, he just jumps into that uh, line of scrimmage to go get that first down. And that's what he's able to do. Thanks to Gunnarsson Health, the Viroqua Clinic, bringing you today's action. We thank the Viroqua Clinic, where your health care begins. It's comprehensive medical care for the whole family. So first and 10, man in motion. Handoff, Schindler, look out, continuing to run, and he just pushes and drives all the way through. Bergdahl in on the stop. Bergdahl on the tackle for Westby. The problem there was uh, Bergdahl needed a little help. Schindler had, you get underneath uh, those shoulder pads, and he had a lot more leverage on Bergdahl. Bergdahl doing all he could to get him down. Good effort, just, uh, again, the leverage kind of thing. Ceiling in motion, Schindler with the ball. He'll dive over the uh, five-yard line. The official says we'll spot it right there. Tackle by number three, Brett Kroom. That's enough for Red Hawk. Brett Kroom in on the tackle. First and goal, Red Hawks. Ball placed at the four. Well, putting together a pretty good drive here. The Red Hawks milking the clock as we're down under two minutes. You can see the clock in the upper left. It's a little stutter step move here, and the stop looked like number nine in Joey Ellison. Ellison staying home and did a good job there to get that stop. Both defenses, uh, that first half, I tell you what, talk about stingy defense. In the halftime, it was 7 6, but. GT come out rocking on that kickoff return of 75 yards. This is 
in? Schindler off Not the quite. Carry again. Schindler stopped just short of the goal line. Tackled short of the goal line. Tackled inside the one yard line. They'll spot the ball here inside the one. Third and one officially, but it's less than that. We're going to get the clock down here to around 40 seconds and less as they look to punch it in. And now. Flag on the play. Flag on the play here by the Westby. line judge. Westby. And they're going to say Westby on an encroachment call. To the goal still so they'll goal move the ball about what? Four inches. <laughs> and they'll come back with uh, a third down once again. Schmitz puts the man in motion, the handoff, and Schindler dives, and he's in. It's 20 to six. And they'll look for the I would imagine the extra point kick with Dominic Knott, who has gone uh, one for one for two. Right set, right? Oh, they are going to go for two. All right. So Schmitz, everybody up close. Schmitz dropping, looking to the right, lobs it up in the air, and it is incomplete. Yes. Caught out of bounds on an interception. Kroom in there defensively with a nice stop. 20 to six, your score, GT with the lead. Well, the Red Hawks out in front here by a couple of scores here, 20 to six with 28 seconds remaining here. In quarter number three, Dominic Knott has the ball teed up and here's the approach. High end over end kick is gonna come down here and uh, picked up by Stockstone. Nice little move here and he's got an opening and coming down the field still on his feet. Look at him go. Here's a shot in the arm. Exactly what they needed. Touchdown, West. Stockston made quite the little move here and made one man miss, and the wall was set up beautifully here on the near side along the GT bench. Touchdown. And the carpet is clean. No flags on the floor, and Westby needed that one. That took them all of 12 seconds to buzz down the field from about, well, I think he picked it up right around the 11, so make it an 89-yard touchdown run. We've seen some dandy runs already here tonight. What a job there for the Westby Norseman. And now 
They'll look for two. I formation with Wilbur. And now a timeout here by Westby. They're bringing a man out a little bit late here. So we'll see what happens. Oh, the last timeout for them. They had to burn it here in quarter number three. We'll come right back with uh, either an extra point kick or two point conversion coming up. All right, the Norsemen come up to the line of scrimmage after the timeout. Back in that I formation. Ludinovic turns, keeps the ball himself, rolls, fires, has a man, and it is dropped. Oh, a tough break there. A low throw to Kroom, and he just couldn't haul it in. Well, the Norsemen back into this ball game now, both by the score and with some energy. They trail 20 to 12. Chase Bindle to kick off here as the Norsemen got their own electrifying touchdown run on a kickoff. As Stockstone really enters Stockstone. Here's a ball kicked on the ground and good job on that uh, falling on it. Let's take a look here. That was number 33 and uh, Taylor Haney it scooted off the hands of one of the up men and Haney just uh, gobbled it up. He'll spot the ball right there on the 35. 14 seconds still remaining here in quarter number three. The last couple minutes have taken almost the whole length of a quarter here to get through it seems like man in motion up the middle is the run Schindler once again he'll spot the ball clock is going to run down two zeros and they'll get a free time out here and a minute rest as we turn the tables and head to quarter number four. Thanks going out to Nordic Lanes. Hope you're enjoying today's broadcast with a great tasting pizza and Friday night fish with Scott and Sue Sordahl at Nordic Lanes. And our thanks to Main Street Mobile Mart in Viroqua, Synergy Mobile Fuel.
Well, here we are. Boy, I tell you what, uh, long, long ball game here. And it's going to be Schmitz with on the tackle is Kroom, number three, meeting number three. Good job there by Kroom. Yeah, the observation is that uh, each quarter has lasted at least a half an hour, it seems like. One of the longer ball games that I've been involved with. Here's the pitch to the outside. Schindler, head of steam, rolling along, still on his feet, and finally drug down. Joey Ellison on the stop, but not before. How about a 33-yard run for Nate Schindler? My goodness. He has been practically unstoppable. Schmitz hands off. Guess who? Schindler again. He picks up another seven yards. Schindler on the carry, tackled by number 23, Garrett Vatlin. Vatlin in on the stop here. Four Red Hawks. Been doing a pretty good job. We were calling Vatlin's number quite a bit early on, very early on in the game. And I think the uh, Red Hawks have said, we're going to put a man on Garrett Vatlin and make him really work for any kind of tackles. He was able to break loose on that one and get the stop. It's gonna be second and four, a six yard pickup after they place the ball. Schmitz keeping it himself, trying to bounce to the outside and Bergdahl is there. And they'll knock him over finally. It's going to bring up a third down. Officials talking to the Norseman a little bit there, but I think uh, Bergdahl was on the receiving end of whatever that chat was about. And I think what happens there, you know, here's the problem that I see is that if the officials are a little bit late blowing the whistle, you know, you're taught to go until that whistle is blown. And that time, Bergdahl was not going to let Schmitz go. We might get the third and final timeout. We do by GT with a third and uh, six, third and five, they call it. Well, a final break coming up. Well, not our final break, but a final break here with the timeout. They have it down as third and five here. That's what we'll go with. Hand off, Schindler trying to get to the outside. Bergdahl is there, Schindler driving. He's gonna be pushed out of bounds. He's gonna be just a little bit short of that first down. I think he got to the 30 and then was shoved out. He needed to get to the 31. So a fourth and very short here for the Red Hawks. Thanks to Premier Co-op, your ace hardware in Westby for all your farm, home, agricultural, business needs, you name it. They got a lot of great things going on at Premier Co-op. 
Fourth and about one, maybe two. Schmidt's on the spin. They're going to scrum him over. It's going to be real close here. It's going to depend on where the officials say they think the mark is. Chase Mendel in on the stop. In there in that scrum. And Ty Nottestead, one of the last guys to be helped up. And they are going to say Westby holds. They do. Norseman make a big defensive stop right there. Just a little bit shy of that flag. And it's first and 10 going the other way. The Norsemen have a shot at it. Westby coming up to the line of scrimmage. Shotgun formation once again. Turn, fires over here to the near side. Got a man open and upended. That was Kroom. Boy, he took a shot here. And let's see if he's going to be all right. Little slow to get up here is Brett Kroom. That one, uh, they got the legs right out from underneath him. He gets up and limps back towards the huddle. Let's see if he's going to take a moment and try and recollect. He will come off the field. He's actually jogging off not too bad. Boy, I tell you what, he had a wide open field. He picks up about seven to bring it up a second and three. Jacob Larson coming in with the play. And now wind the clock up. 8.40 to go here in a eight point advantage for the Red Hawks. 20 to 12 is your score. Shotgun formation, Red Hawks showing blitz. Handoff, nothing going on right there. Boy, oh boy. In on the stop, was that uh, ha Hanson? All right, Ben Hanson. He just stood his ground and would not move. Bergdahl and Kroom coming in. With the play, good to see Kroom jog back out there. On the tackle for the Red Hawks. Thanks to the Riverbank with uh, branches in Westby, South Side, and right in the middle of Coon Valley. Riverbank for the down home financial help. Here's a quick toss to the outside. And oh, what a job defensively there by Hanson. Ben Hansen with the stop. They got it out to Kroom. Or, uh, check that. It might have been Valen. But he got stopped. Lucky to even hang on to the ball. So fourth and six here for the Norsemen, and they'll bring in the punting squad. Our thanks going out to Kevin Blusky. That's Rural Mutual Insurance. Kevin, Bl Kevin Blusky Agency. For all your farm business insurance needs, it's the Wisconsin-based company doing business only in Wisconsin. And our thanks to the Cashton uh, spot, that's Scenic Bluffs Community Health. Looking for the fake, here's the throw, it is incomplete. And that's going to be a tough spot right now. That'll put the uh, Norseman defense in a real tough spot. Well, a man in motion as we come back. It's going to be Schmitz. Oh, he is very close down to the five, still on his feet, moving forward. And he'll get down to the one. He went from the 23 yard line all the way down to the one. A 22 yard pickup. Anders Stockston with the tackle. And that's really a tough one now for the Norsemen. Let's go, Red Hawks! 
they can punch this one in and create more problems. Schmitz dives, he's got it. One yard out, he stretches out and reaches over the end zone, the goal line here, into the end zone for the score. Two-yard touchdown run by Cody Schmidt. 26-12, your score with 6-14 to go here in the ball game. Yeah. Not comes in looking for the extra point kick. We'll pan back, see what we can pick up here. Pretty good snap, the kick is up. It's a line drive, and it is up and good. Well, the Norsemen have a lot of work to do here. They trail by 15 at 27 to 12. Back we come, and Knott has the ball teed up here. The approach, line drive. This one is going to scoot out of bounds at about the 23-yard line. And we'll wait and see what happens here with the flag. Westby will be uh, in pretty good field position here, but again, trailing by 15, you look for him to put the ball in the air, and... GT with that defense, they've got some pretty good defensive backs, and that makes them even more dangerous when you know that you're going to pass. And we've seen uh, uh, Sealing, uh, or check that, Schindler, I should say, he has blitzed at different times, and that has caused some problems with Malutinovich and the offense. Here we go with the first and 10. Shotgun looking, fires downfield, has a man. Nice little step here, spin move, Stockton once again. And now he's brought down at about the 11-yard well, pickup. So give him the first down. Tackled by number six, Kyle Sealing. That's enough for West. Kyle uh, Sealing in on the tackle. But tell you what, Stockton had to make about four moves to make sure he could get that 11 yards. We'll stay in the shotgun formation. Malunovic has two on the far side. High snap, brought it down, looking, trying to step out. Now fires downfield. It is caught. Whoa, what a catch here. Are they going to catch it? They're not going to call it. Boy, I tell you what, he did a great job of getting to that. They're going to say his feet were just out of bounds. Stockton coming up with an athletic play, but unfortunately... Ruled incomplete. Well, our thanks going out to, as we mentioned, Scenic Bluffs Community Healthcare, their corporate office in Cashin. You'll find them in Norwalk, Viroqua, Sparta. They continue to bring quality health to the area. Sealand's Carpet Land, Tim Sealand, luxury vinyl, tile, carpet, you name it. If you walk on it, they sell it. He'll put Stockstone in motion. Here's a shot out over the middle, and we're going to get a flag coming up here. It might be, I'm going to guess, Kroom with the reception. Are they going to do an illegal man downfield? We'll see what they have here. That's what it is. I just kind of had that feeling that 
the way he threw that flag, it was going to go against the Norseman, and that was probably the call. That'll move them back. Once they get things figured out, they'll start the clock back up. Sweet Valley Artisan and Valley Fudge and Candy helping us out tonight. Sweet Valley Artisan invites you to stop in, browse that 9,000 square foot facility. More than 50 local. 15 now, second and 15 for Westby. Nearly 50 local artisan folks that uh, have their wares out there for you. Milutinovic fires, has his man, and it's dropped. That was that one. Well, I tell you what, that defense was running after him. For number 23, Garrett Matland, third and 15. 5-14 to go in the ball game. And when you're done with, uh, check out the Valley Fudge and Candy. 75 delightful flavors. And of course, they're supporting our area farmers with quality dairy products for their fudge. That is fantastic to know. Thanks to Sleepy Hollow, three facilities on the north side of Iroquois. And of course, the new facility, the Ford dealership, that is, that's a dandy one right there. Lunovich. Third and long, goes downfield, and that's incomplete. I think we got a late flag coming in. Flag on the play. It's going to be on the Red Hawks. Somebody up in the air. That might have been number one in uh, Hilton. Interference called against GT. He was on the shoulder of the would-be receiver, and that's enough for the flag to be thrown. It should be. See if that's going to be enough here and give them the first down. First down it is Westby. an automatic first down. Ball placed at the GT 43 yard line. So Westby trying to march down the field here. Hope you're enjoying today's broadcast. Vernon Communications. Here's the pitch to Wilbur on the far side. Turns up field on his feet. He's going to pick up about seven, maybe eight yards. Wilbur and another late flag coming in. Flag on the play. That one might be unnecessary roughness. We'll have to wait and see. It looked like uh, somebody came in late. Good ball, personal yep. ball called against GT. So somebody came in a little bit too late here and landed on Wilbur after he was already down. Under five minutes to go in the ball game. And folks, uh, I'm going to, I'll just say this right now. If we do go off the air, I truly apologize. We were, uh, we set things to go at well, until well, about 9.30, I believe. And check out Twitch or the YouTube channel, uh, Westby School YouTube channel. I think that would still be on or my Twitch account if we do go off at 9.30. Here's a throw downfield. It is picked off. And here we go, ceiling going all the way down and still on his feet, tackled by Malutinovic, and that will seal the deal right there. Well, talk about perfect timing and Brady Sealing, who was not sure if he was going to be able to play tonight, he has come on like a gangbuster here for the Red Hawks. Milutinovic able to make the stop here, but first and 10 on about the 13 yard line. Oh, we hope you enjoy this uh, broadcast. Uh, the game, a tough one right now for the Norsemen here. But uh, Vernon Communications with the three school channels bringing you the action here from GET supporting the broadcast. Here is the ball. Uh, I guess it's going to be a stop here. Slow to get up. One of the Red Hawks. That was number 52 in Lakey. They'll let the clock run. Uh, well, they will once they get things set here. They're going to talk some things over. I don't know. Was there a flag? They're actually going to give it to Westby. So there was a fumble. 
and the Norsemen recover. Ball placed at the 13. Well, a big break there for the Norsemen, but the question is, do they have enough time? Lesby, Malutinovich dropping back once again. He fires to the outside, has his man, and not going to get too far after that reception, maybe a couple of yards. They might give him three. I think that was, uh, that was Larson out there, okay? And a pretty good stop out there on the That's coverage, the number one in Larson. Hilton. Excuse me. Larson on the catch. Clock continuing to move, and again, uh, if... If we hit the 9.30 mark and Channel 7 uh, goes off the air, be sure to check and Hansen, the uh, stream and eight. on Twitch and my, uh, my channel there, WWVP LLC, just in case. I have a feeling that we are going to go off about 9.30. Here's a run up the middle. Yeah, typically uh, we have plenty of time here, but on the we had some, uh, it was a 10-minute delay with Connor some other yeah. proclamations, I guess you could call it, for GT seniors. And we didn't get things started, so we're behind on that. It didn't get uh, the game started until 7-10. Typically, we've had games done at 9, 9-15 at the latest. Dropping back again, now firing. There's Kroom. It's incomplete. Whoop. Pass is incomplete. Knocked away by number 31, Connor Shue. Fourth and five. So it's fourth and five here, and Westby's got to go for it. Trailing by 15 and 308 remaining in the ball game. Tough one here for the Norsemen. Then the uh, halftime went a, <laughs> a little bit longer than uh, expected. Complete or complete? They're going to say it was a catch, but was he down? They're going to talk this one over. We're Officials, it's going to be a fumble recovery, and that will spell it Nate Schindler once again, once you know. Nate Schindler on the recovery for the Red Hawks. Got the loose ball. Somebody put the uh, shoulder pad right where the ball was caught. And Kroom, no one's going to feel worse than him. Well, right now, the Red Hawks can run this play out. They'll go up the middle here. Schindler on the carry. Three minutes to go in the ball game. We're sitting at 928. So if we do go off the air prior to the end, again, I'll say this. I uh, apologize sincerely, but typically... We're sitting in pretty good shape right, right about now. We're probably packed up and walking out of the stadium. <laughs> Not tonight. Thanks again to all those terrific sponsors that we were able to get through, bringing you the ball game. Schmitz keeping the ball. He'll run and will be drugged down. Cody Schmitz on the keeper. The Norsemen, it looks like, are going to drop to... Five, five and three on the year. And three and three in the conference, if I have that right. Meanwhile, GT will move to three and three in the conference. And four and four overall. Third down, a minute 45. A run up the middle, oh my goodness, still on his feet, he's got a first down, and now, 
Now you can run the clock out here and know that you've done a very, very good job against a pretty good ball team here. The Red Hawks over the Norsemen. They'll set the uh, clock here, get it.